Like many Americans growing up in the early 1960s, Brian Duffy was fascinated as he watched astronaut Alan Shepard rocket into space, and as Neil Armstrong later walked on the moon. For this native Bostonian, his dream of following in their footsteps would become a reality. After graduation from the U.S. Air Force Academy, Duffy's assignments included testing the F-15 tactical fighter aircraft. His extensive experience as a test pilot, including over 5,000 hours in more than 25 different aircraft, contributed to his selection as a NASA astronaut in 1985. After completing astronaut candidate training, Duffy worked in mission control as a spacecraft communicator. He also assisted in developing instrumentation displays and flight crew procedures for use on later shuttle flights. Duffy put these experiences to work on his first flight assignment in 1992 as pilot for the STS-45 mission of the shuttle Atlantis. Liftoff of the space shuttle Atlantis on a mission to planet Earth. The following year, the STS-57 crew of Endeavour lifted off with Duffy again in the pilot's role. Space Shuttle Endeavour on the first space mission and the retrieval of the Eureka spacecraft. In January 1996, he was commander of the STS-72 flight of the shuttle Endeavour. During the nine-day mission, the crew performed two spacewalks to evaluate techniques for the assembly of the International Space Station. The space station was the destination for STS-92 in 2000. With Duffy serving as commander, the crew of Discovery attached the Z-1 truss and a pressurized mating adapter to the orbiting outpost. Following his fourth space flight, Duffy retired from NASA and the Air Force in 2001, but he didn't leave the aerospace industry. Today, Duffy is Orbital ATK's Vice President and Program Manager, leading the company's human space exploration activities at the Johnson Space Center and Kennedy Space Center. Brian Duffy's accomplishments embody what it means to be a member of the United States Astronaut Hall of Fame.